What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another drum video for you guys today. So, so far we have done kick drum and snare drum. Now what we're going to be doing is moving on to the toms. So what we're going to do is jump into Logic and like I've done in the other videos is use those four plugins to mix the drums. So let's jump into Logic Pro X and mix some toms. Here we go. Alright guys, like always, first EQ we're going to use is a high pass filter, like always, to get just get rid of that low end and remember to just get rid of the rumble. So like I did in the last videos, we're going to upload the stock EQ that comes in Logic Pro X. And what we're going to do is just play it, roll off a high pass filter and see what we can get rid of that rumble. So let's do that. So pretty much, I literally just rolled it off about 45 hertz. That is just to clean up the rumble, tighten it up a little bit more, and make it more clean. So what we're going to do now is move on to the second frequency. Here we go. Okay, guys, the next frequency I want to take care of is I want to find the body of the toms. Now, the body of the toms lies around 100 to 200 hertz. So we're going to sweep around that area until we find the nice fat body of the tom. So let's take a listen. Alright guys, right at 100 hertz, that is where the body of the toms lies. So what we're going to do now is just bring it down about 3 dB. Alright, so I brought it down to about 3 dB and just even the sound out just to make it more noticeable in the mix. So let's move on to the next frequency. Here we go. Okay guys, this next frequency is the frequency that I talked about all the time on the other drum kit videos. Pretty much, you guys know what it is, 500 hertz. I mean, literally, I'm telling you guys, cut it out, it sounds bad. So we're gonna boost 500 hertz, sweep around and see what we can find, guys to cut out that horrible frequency. Let's do it. Okay, so the frequency I found is 530 hertz. Now 530 hertz sounds really bad right there. So I think what we're gonna do is actually just take that out negative 6 dB. And that sounds so much better to me. So far it sounds like the toms are tightening it up a lot more and they're sounding a lot more fat. So let's move on to the next frequency. Here we go. Okay guys, the next frequency we're gonna focus on is the attack. Now the attack sound of the toms actually lies around three kilohertz and to six kilohertz. So what we're gonna do is sweep around that area just to find the attack of the toms. So let's jump into it.
Okay, so I don't hear any attack in that area. So pretty much all I'm hearing is a whistly noise in there. And I don't like the sound of it at all because it's not the sound I'm going for for this song. So we're going to cut that out actually. And there we go. So let's move on to the last frequency. Here we go. Okay guys, you know how you hit a tom with a stick, a drumstick and it makes that slap sound when you hit the tom? Well that's what we're going for right now. Is What we're going to do is we're actually going to add a high shelf so that we can get that slap sound of when we hit the tom. So let's do that. Okay, and that slap is coming through. So I hope these EQ tips helped you guys today. And if they did, leave a comment down below because I actually want to learn from you guys too. And actually leave a comment telling me what EQ moves you guys do on drums. So what we're going to do now is move on to the next plugin. Here we go. Alright guys, as you guys know, the next plugin is compression. Because we're in the drum series now and I'm teaching you guys how to make individual drums. So what we're going to do is play the toms and we're going to add some compression. Just to even the sound out and make the pants sound better. So let's do that. sounds way better to me. So pretty much what I just did there is made the tom sound a lot more tight so that every time that drumstick hits the tom, literally letting out the same amount of volume that I want to come out. So it sounds a lot tighter, a lot more fat, a lot more better. So make sure you act, use your compression the right way because you will make Huge difference on your drum. All right, guys. The next plugin we're gonna use is the tape saturation plugin from Clang Help. Now, this tape saturation plugin, like I said in the last video, is fantastic. So, enough talking. Let's jump into. It. Alright, and that sounds fantastic. So pretty much what I did is on the drive, I added like about 2 dB of the drive just to bring the volume up a little bit and make it sound a lot more full and louder. Next what I did is the aux mix. What I did is brought that up about 6 dB. Then the output I brought to about 1 and then the response time about just over 7. So what that's doing, it's giving, what that tape saturation is doing, the toms, it's just giving it a little bit of distortion. I don't want to give it too much. I just gave it a little bit just to give the toms some crack. Then it's giving it a little bit of grit. Pretty much what it's helping too, making it a lot more fat so that it's popping through. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the last plugin. Here we go. All right guys, if you guys are Logic Pro X users, you know the plugin I'm gonna be using next. 
space designer. One of my all-time favorite reverbs, like I said in the last video. So what we're going to do now is jump in, give these toms some space, some reverb, and some echo, and just make them sound awesome. So let's do that. Okay, so so far that's a lot of reverb. So we're gonna use a preset and we're gonna use the same preset that we did in the last video. So we're gonna go here, go to Hall, and the same preset, Bada Church. This is the same preset we used in the last two videos, the kick drum and the snare drum. So we're gonna use this one because I love this one on drums. It sounds fantastic. So take a listen and hear what we're going to do. Wow, that literally just came together great. It sounds awesome. The toms are popping through the mix and it sounds awesome. So now what we have to do now is use an EQ, a high pass filter and a low pass filter on the um, reverb. Sorry about that. Mental block. On the reverb, we have to use an EQ to clean it up. Lucky for me, this EQ comes with an EQ. So we're going to actually clean this reverb up right now. Take a look. Now, you don't want to go too much. You just want to roll it off a little bit just to clean it up. Okay, and now that I'm done using all of the plugins in this drum track, what I can hear in the toms is I can hear the crack of the toms, I can hear the slap of it. It's a lot more fat, a lot more punchy, and it sounds great. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to bypass all the plugins one by one, and then what I'm going to do is bring them back in one by one so we can hear the difference we made to this tom track, okay? Okay, so so far what we're gonna do to start is we're gonna leave the plugins on and then in the middle of the drum beat, what I'm gonna do is take them off, bypass them, and see what a difference it is. Here we go. Okay, and that's what it sounds like with the, all the plugins bypassed. Now what we're going to do is bring them in one by one so we can tell the difference it makes. Here we go. My gosh I can literally hear that middle tom just pop through the mix and sound incredible so that is how you mix a tom in Logic Pro X using four plugins so I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up all right and leave comments down below because I always love to read what you guys have to say and remember, any videos you guys want me to touch base on, leave them down below in the comments and I would be happy to make a video for you guys on it. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep making great music. You guys are awesome. All right guys, and if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, make it turn gray, hit the bell to turn on post notifications so that you guys are notified whenever I post a new video on Golden Productions. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video today and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and I hope you learned a lot about mixing drum toms to making them 
fat, making them uh, pop through the mix a lot more. And if you did, make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys learned today because that is my job, is to teach you guys how to make your mixes sound awesome. So I will see you guys in the next video. Keep making great music, and I'll see you guys next time. See you guys then.